very well. All right. So you're going through the main house, such as yep. it is, and you're and uh, Leo, you're going to the uh, to the basement. Yeah, I'll do the basement. Okay, the doors are closed in the basement, and basically to get into the house, you sort of have to sort of navigate the collapse, you know, um, wooden beams and the like. There's some areas which are smallish, cave-like because of the collapse on the top, but basically the entire upper uh, story collapsed on the So you see, like, furniture that has sort of uh, hit the bottom and broken and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Before we actually go in, mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Invisibility. Okay. And because I have to cast it at a higher level, we're both invisible. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Uh, well, since you're, I take that you do that before you split. Otherwise, yes. you wouldn't be able to. Hundred percent. I do it before. I do it. I do it before we split. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I tap him on the. I I now, I, I, I pat him uh, on the shoulder. Cast it as I do that. Uh, you have to either break or pick the lock in the uh, in the cellar cellar doors. I'm assuming if I punch this, um, there won't be any people outside that hears it, right? Well, I did mention there were guards, regular patrols. Would hear like a collapse of a door being I mean, punched? We're talking about think, you know, think about you know the doors that go to a cellar, right? And the outside, you have to. Punch oh, them. okay, okay, that's where yeah. we're going. All right. Um. All right. Uh, I guess I'll do another silence and punch it. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, you're gonna have to do damage with it, though. All right. So just the regular punch. Regular punch. Thirteen points. Yeah, it's 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 breaking, but these are pretty solid. Uh, you are now visible. Yeah, I assume this much. Hey, it actually does it automatically now. That's pretty cool. So you're gonna do give it another whack? Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, with the second punch, you 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 break enough of it so the latches you can put a hand in and take yeah. out the latch from the inside. I do that, and then I just yeah. I guess I open the door. I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, um, Marcus. Uh, you do also notice the first thing you kind of notice is you from out. I don't know if you have dark. You don't. You have dark vision. Uh, one hundred twenty feet. Okay. You notice that one of the things that stands out is that there are traps everywhere. Uh, they look like wire mesh, like metal boxes. Got it. Uh, you know the only reason why you know that they're traps is because they seem to have some kind of intricate mechanism, so that the the doors snap shut. And there seems to kind of be some kind of food inside. You see like five or six traps everywhere. Uh, you know, total about six. Uh, Leo, do a, uh, you don't have, uh, yeah, you do have that question, but you still have to do a, uh, I'm a like, perception. Perception, yes. Yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah, you're walking and your, your foot, you get a foot jab into it. And you take one, three, four of them. Two points of damage as the trap sort of closes around you. Like, ah. mm -hmm. yeah. It wasn't, assuming, me I'm, it, wasn't me it wasn't meant to, you know, to do damage to you. But it's, you know, when you jam your foot, you, you, uh, you activated the trap. And the door sort of came down on your foot hard. So it's like, ah. Yeah. All righty. And again, you once you know this one, you notice about six or seven of these. Uh, traps, and in fact, you notice at least some of them are sort of like shimp, like 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 uh, trembling a little bit, like something is trapped inside them. Something's trapped inside them. Yeah, they, they're like boxes like this big. They're catching yeah, they're food. Not... Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
I will actually free when I look inside. Like, is what is it? Like rats? Is it? Yeah, uh, it's a rat. In fact, when you open it, the rat comes out and it's going to attack you because it's been trapped. Of course, he it's is. It's probably going to miss, but it misses. Yeah, it misses. It just, With his ability to like catch Long range attacks, could he catch it and throw it back in? <laughs> it's I probably could, no, but no, it's not a projectile. No. Yeah. <laughs> It's a small creature, but it, it basically goes through your face, tries to bite you, misses, and just scampers off into the darkness. Yeah, that would right. be my luck, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, rat is in fact not a projectile, as it turns out. Unless you throw it. Yeah, unless you turn it into one. I don't know how you would turn it into one, but... Uh, well... All right. So, uh, barbarians have their ways. All right, so I carefully navigate through the traps and through the uh, squeaking rats and all that stuff to get to an area that does not have those. Now, uh, do another perception for me. Right in this case, would be investigation. That's even worse. She's 17. You find... Because this part of the cellar is a wine cellar, you find something strange that one of the barrels, the top is on the side, right? And the, what should be the one of the, the covers is slightly off. I see. Uh, I, I do draw the wakizashi, just in case. And... I don't want to do this, because I'm assuming something's inside. I, uh, I kick the barrel. The barrel doesn't move. It's very interesting. You kick it, you, it, it groans, and, it, and it, it takes damage from your kick, but it doesn't move. Yeah. In fact, it's in a stack of barrels. It's not just a barrel. It's a stack of barrels. Right? Mm. Uh, oh, so this isn't even like the top barrel. It's like in the no. middle of the stack. Yeah. That's impressive, then, if they hit in that with that thing slightly ajar. Uh, it's just like the like the like a, what should be the top lid that seems to be that where you found it was like the air jar, not the entire barrel. I uh, go to the barrel and I say, "Is there anybody in there?" You had no response. Okay, and then I just stab down with the wakizashi. Hey. Yeah, it goes through the wood. All right, then I'm going to uh, carefully then look inside the barrel. As you look in, you see that the barrel, it's open on the other side because these barrels are against the wall, and there's an opening. It's like a, like a hidden passage almost. Yeah. Interesting. Is it big enough for me to crawl through? It will be a tight fit. You said you have to sort of, you know, shimmy. You don't have to go any, you have to sort of, you know, get completely flat and and shimmy, and with one arm, it's like, eh, eh, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So I guess, how would I try to fit in? Would that be an acrobatics? Would that be a that would be else? acrobatics? Yeah. Oh, I think I got this. Eighteen. Yeah. Uh, as you you start crawling in and you crawl out. Because you have to push yourself. You're like, oh, what? Whoa! And you fall about 10 feet. All right. And you, and you hit what looks like uh, like a net, but it's a very small net. Instead of stopping you, it just sort of kind of wraps you over and you hit the ground hard. Uh, but it's not that far. And you're in a very small area and you can smell the refuse of the city. Oh, like, joy! It's, it's right there, right? Again, this, uh, for a small-sized creature like you, it will be tight, but, uh, well, but for you, it's like you're wrapped in this, and you, you can feel, like, the filthy water touching your skin as it passes by. Like, mm -hmm. ugh. You know? It's, I, it's, I, it, it's Shoshank, Shoshank Revention style uh, small space. If you I, know, I, 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 if I'm you literally... Know the yeah, you know, like, I, I'm you know. crawling through a river of shit. Basically. <laughs> um, I 
I will. I'm going to assume that I'm going to get the net off of me. Yeah. Now, and um, I guess I look up like where is the whole leaves? There's there any like ropes or ladders or anything that? Yeah, basically there are rungs that have been carved into the stone. Mm -hmm. So apparently the way it works, you can see there's a sort of mechanism. Is that uh, very clever? It covers the hole. Uh, the net covers the hole that will lead to the pipe that is the sewer pipe. And they carved uh, a small area so they could have these rungs. And if somebody needs to jump very quickly, they can jump into the net, roll into the uh, into the tube, and just keep on. But you're too big, so yeah, it didn't work for you. So uh, I, I think I know what's going on. Okay, so the cobalt, I'm assuming it's the cobalt to have this as like a quick escape area from when they're doing stuff in the city is like the first thought that comes to mind for me now. So uh, I'm going to start climbing out of the hole uh, back in through and squeeze through that area and to get back into the basement. So as you're pulling yourself back and you look up, you look to a right as a, a bolt right between the eyes. Like something is holding like nervously. A, a light crossbow. It's like, stinky where you are. I take it you're not Hugh. What? Who's Hugh? A friend of mine, actually, a cobalt himself, used a bow as well. This is a crossbow, not a not a not a bow. I know that. Uh, I, yeah. I'm just saying, use the bow himself. Doesn't have to be the same. Yeah, I don't. I I don't know any humans. I don't know any cobalt and you're any human. So I don't know you. So who are you? Well, you can call me Lael. Uh Who are you? Uh, somebody doing his job. What, 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 what's that job, if I'm, I may ask? Rat catcher. For your tribe? Uh, for the city. Oh, for the city? They hired you for the city? Yeah. I didn't know they hired cobbles. Well, did... Well, well, why am I explaining this to you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you, I'm Lil. And? What are you doing here? It's private property. Uh, I'm actually, yes, I am aware of that. In fact, I'm looking for items on this property to give back to the proprietors. This place is condemned. Proprietors are gone. They're dead. Belongs to the city. Uh, that's not what I was told. I apologize if I've been given false information, however. And at this point, I'm just trying to talk him down so he can get the crossbow out of my face. Yeah, basically, you, you're trapped in the barrel right now. So you can go back, crawl back, or, you know... He's not going to miss. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, the sad part is, metagaming it, he can't kill me with it either. Metagaming it, he would have disadvantage if he was in five feet and it's a, and it's a ranged weapon. Yeah. But that's and plus, I can also deflect arrows, so I could use my head to deflect it back into him. Uh, the classic, he holds a dagger to your throat. Well, I have 75 hit points, and a dagger deals D4 damage, so... <laughs> and honestly, headbutting the arrow back at him is the most hilarious option, and I want to see it. Just grab it with your teeth. Yep. <laughs> that <laughs> kind of... Okay. Bounces back. Okay, um, can we say that that happens just for the hell of it? Well, he hasn't shot yet. He's still asking questions. Oh, fine. If he shoots me, I do grab it with my teeth, though. Yeah. Um... He does seem nervous. I mean, you can see that he's shaking. Like, that. so you don't need to shake. I'm no harm, no threat to you. Uh, I'm a kobold. Everything's a threat to me. Are you? You're sh you're that, you smell as shitty as you're stupid. Ah, well, I fully admit I'm not the smartest knife in the drawer. Uh. So, uh, seriously, this, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna leave. I can't. <laughs> you're in the way. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, oh. <laughs> He's not gonna there. Because <laughs> like, if I pull back, you can attack me. Like, I have no reason to attack you, although I must ask how many uh, of your kind are around here? How many other rat catchers? I'm not gonna tell you. So there's multiple. I didn't say any number, so it could be like none. But you said you wouldn't tell me, which implies that there is some. That's an uh, implication I didn't make. Are you sure? Yes. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're going to leave. So, okay. Uh, we're going to do this. Uh, you're going to stay there. And then okay. I'm going to scream at you. You're going to, when I, when I yell, you run for the exit and you leave. Um, real quick question. You want me to run back down? Out, out. I want you out. What part but, of not here you don't understand? But this is where I'm kind of confused. Where is not here? You want outside me to run? The, outside the house. Outside the premises. This belongs to the city of Greyhawk. As I said, I cannot leave, unfortunately. What, you don't have any legs? I do, still, at least. Well, then use them. Um, are you... Uh, but again, uh, I am here with somebody who is a member of the proprietors. Uh, this place has been condemned and it belongs to the city of Greyhawk. The guards got you here. That's not my problem. I, I'm very well aware of that. And I understand that, that that is a risk I will have to take. Oh, yeah. You're going to take that risk because I'm going to call them. I mean, you could do that too, but... Well, I will if you don't leave. Uh, insight, I... insight check on them now at this point. Because, honestly, I'm a little amazed if it really is somebody who's a rat catcher. He seems well, sincere. Geez. Shaky, but sincere. So, did you know about this tunnel here? And he rolls his eyes like, that is the stupidest question, anybody? <laughs> like, I, I don't even understand why you're asking me a very stupid question. Which well, is very stupid, by the way. But how'd you build it? What if you're gonna get out of here? I thought so. Uh, yeah, I, I really need to insist for you to move out of the way, please. Like I said, I'm gonna move out, and you're gonna run outside. You don't well, do I'll that. You're gonna, then I'll you're, and then you're gonna go out of this out of this house. Or I'm gonna call the guards, and you don't want to deal with them. No, I really don't. But. I also don't think they'll catch me either. Well, what? it's a... I don't know. Why wouldn't they catch you? Uh, how dark it is, is it down here? Uh, pretty dark. Can but I? You use... can see, and he, he can see because both of you have... Uh... Oh, I know that. Um, can I use my shadow step thing to teleport behind him? Yeah. And, uh, well, I will do that. Okay. You teleport... And he he notices you because you disappear. He looks around. No, oh no, I I know I do it on purpose for him to see it. And he just jumps right into the and closes it behind him. And you can hear you know scrambling down to the you know to the sewers below. Yeah. Poor guy was too nervous. All right, I climbed back up. I was I mean, you, you're you're in the cellar, so I guess you get out of. Yeah, I get out of the cellar, and actually, I'm going to take this time now to look around the cellar. Again, if there was this was mostly a wine cellar, but probably after five or six years of nobody maintaining it, most of the stuff is turned to vinegar. Right? I guess I guess there's one way to find out. I crack open a bottle. Uh, well, a barrel, basically. Uh, all right, I crack open a barrel. How does it smell? Uh, let's roll. Oh, joy. I hope you get a one. <laughs> it's wine. Ooh, delicious vinegar. <laughs> it is wine, and it is pretty good. It's very not, good. not quite elven wine, but good for a human vintage. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, it's not a uh, uh, whatever the elven nation's name is again from 950. Yeah. It's not a Celine brand 976, but it'll do. But this thing what? just starts pouring out, you know. You're spending a couple of hundred gold pieces worth of wine spilling. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't crack it open at the bottom. I crack it open at the top. There's The barrels are stacked, you know, against the wall. So, yeah, you have to crack. Unless you climb over, roll the barrel, open it, you know, with one hand, and then punch it and open Honestly, that's probably what I would do, and I have the acrobatics to do it. So can I just take yeah. a 10 and do a 19 on that? If this were Pathfinder, yes. Ah. Sadly, taking a 10. But, but let's say that you're doing you that, do and uh, Marcus, you hear the ruckus. You don't hear the, 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 the what they've said, 
but the moving of barrels and stuff like that yeah you're like what the hell is that right that's fine uh, that's fine yeah um so i'm not trying to do a thorough search of the place mm -hmm. because of my passive and uh, and and my knowledge of the space I want to go around and see if there's anything that initially sticks out that falls under the category of of what I stated. You do know that your mother had, you know, her jewelry, right? Yep. Um, and that she, in fact, when you were young, she told you if anything happened to her, uh, it would be under a compartment underneath the dresser. So yep. what would happen is that you would go to the dresser. The dresser looks like it has legs, so it should be separated from the top. But in fact, it's completely solid to the bottom. And yep. then that false bottom, there's that box. But when you open it, the box is there, but it has a note. What's the note, sir? I regret to inform you that you have failed. Oh, well, that's rude. Saucy. All right, I will. Uh, I'm gonna leave the note. I'm not gonna take it. The box is valuable. Indeed, I will take the box, but I will leave the note. And you see that, in fact, the the, the places that should have been because uh, a beam of uh, kind of crushed half of the dresser, uh, so most of the, the clothing were left there. Uh, some of it's been cinched, but the rest have been eaten by moths, right? It's moth, you know, it's been, you know, corrupt. So this was, there was a couple of hundred gold pieces worth of clothing here, and now it's, it's long gone, basically. It's just trashed. Uh, that's fine. Um, what, the last two places I'll do a quick walkthrough of would be the kitchen and my father's uh, study. Well, your father's study is no more because it was the second floor. Got it. The kitchen is halfway there. You gotta have a sort of like this. Mostly uh the area of the of the oven, the chimney that survived. Chimney didn't collapse, it was well crafted in stone. And uh but the rest of the kitchen has been sort of like you come in, the door is half open, kind of like uh so half of the door it's it's been ripped off, uh yeah. probably burnt away as well. And so when you walk in, sort of, you see that the ceiling is diagonal like that, like the floor went down and it's full of debris on top of it. But to your to your left, but to your right, where the the oven and the uh, the chimney are, one of the same, really, that's largely intact. Okay. Uh, yeah. If I don't notice it, anything out of out of the ordinary, or anything that I wouldn't have seen when I was younger. Uh, yeah, I aside will... from rotted, all oh, well rotted out food, right? They even like a carrot that tried to like grow in a in a pile of dirt, but it didn't go anywhere without a lot of sunlight. Okay, uh, in that case, beyond that, if if there's nothing that's sticking out um, to grab, um, I will uh, I'll 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 exit and make my way out. Yeah. Uh, I will also you, make sure that Lael knows that I'm that that I'm leaving because I'm still I'm still invisible, so like I I can just easily let him know. Yeah, you I, come out again. Yeah. You see more traps on the basements, and you see Lael basically test te uh, tasting some wine. Basically, maybe he finds like a cup or something. He's carrying it's like you know he's testing. Like, I say I found uh, some drinkable wine. Perhaps this is something that you can use. It will be something worth noting once the official procedures have gone through. I found something interesting too, but uh, I'll wait. I want to. I want to discuss it after we've left. Oh, by the way, did you run into any cobbles? No, but I was al uh, also clearly I cannot be seen. Yeah, we'll talk about it on the way. But uh, apparently, there are now rat catchers in the city, unless they lied to me. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. The dirty job, and the, no one else w would want to do it. And I just assume we abscond into the night. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, I will. I will inform you of the note that I found where jewelry should have been. It should have been there. It should have. Now I took the box. Um, if you would actually like to hold this, I trust you for safekeeping because 
I don't want it found on me. And you won't be questioned when I reassert myself tomorrow. But uh, I'm curious if that message was directly for me or for someone else. Who else would it be for? I do not know. I would have to see. I will also have to see the reactions t uh, tomorrow when I when I take cert the the actions towards reclaiming the property. Game of cat and mouse, really. Yes, it seems like that, doesn't it? I'm curious if it's something connected to my sister. Is uh, what? What? Uh, enlighten me. How important is your sister here? Um, last I left, she would have been the last surviving member of my family that w was in Greyhawk. Of course, I like I had a grandparent or two out s in different areas, but we were very much self-made within the city from my parents. I see. And where is she now? I know that she is uh, connected with the uh, the Matrices uh, as her new taken name. They are not from the city, but they do claim nobility. Before she was being courted by some by a different family, but it appears that did not work out. Do you? Um, uh, you're going to have to help me. I'm not familiar with that name at all. I don't know a whole much about them either. I know they're not from Greyhawk, but I was not big in politics when I was younger. I was being more in the training process of uh, taking over my father's business. I see. I'm really excited to see who squirms when I, when, when, when I come out of my coffin. Oh, by the way, for uh, for for that entire time, I was wearing the clothes for, that Kix gave me, not the, not the nicer stuff that that I, that I got made. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I say, is there is there something wrong with that family? I don't know. Well, then why would they leave the box there? Who else knew about it? Could have been many, many people. My father was my mother was a famous poet. My father was a art an art dealer after he retired from the military, which he retired as a general. Both both were relatively famous on their own, let alone when they got together. My mother's job was to show up places in and lie, and, lie, and lie to people and then and then speak delicate words on stages yes but you mentioned uh that this was a hidden box how many people knew about it already i do not know i just know that she told me if something happened that it would be there my sister guaranteed but beyond that i cannot say and if it indeed was my sister that got this, then she is definitely holding some form of grudge if she had any idea of what happened. Have you actually spoken to your sister? I have not. Not in, not in five years. I'm actually surprised you didn't go to her first. As soon as I go there, I'm alive. And I guarantee you, by tomorrow, I will be alive, even if I commit myself or not, because I went to my tailor, which was a planned move, because I wanted to get the dirt on what had happened. Bought an outfit, and don't get me wrong, it still feels weird getting back into noble clothing, but I need to still appear that I am what, what I was. Just a little different, a little more battle rugged. But I still need to appear as a pompous asshole who hasn't gone every day struggling and 
in crying because he he almost died. That does not leave this conversation, by the way, that piece of information. Well, be careful then, because if you're going to be playing a game like that, perhaps, I just hope perhaps that you have some sort of plan in place then for whatever would come your way once you're alive three. again. I have three of those. Oh, I don't good. know if they're good. I don't know if they're good plans, but I have three. Well, good, three good plans is better than none. Either way, um, uh, it's nighttime, correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, you need to get your rest. I don't need rest. I'm good, thank you. Do you not sleep as well? Uh, isn't it like part of the lore that elves technically don't sleep? Uh, four hour trance. Yeah. Yeah, they rest, but they don't have to. They don't have to sleep. They right. meditate. Maybe. Yeah, so like I still have to have eight hours of downtime, but I can still like I'm up reading book, reading a book, or doing whatever. So I still get my passive stuff and like I watch it and watches and cover and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, then uh, do you know anywhere where people would go if they had to sleep, so we can at least have that cover? Unfortunately, I'm not really too privy of that. I would presume Kix would have a location for us to be in. Oh, yes. No, the room's there. That would work perfectly. And, uh, yeah, we'll go where, wherever uh, where, wherever we know Kix would have been. Which would probably be the Sleeping Giant. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I've been in there at least once or twice when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Because my father specialized in military art and mm -hmm. and artifacts, and some of the like the stoogy or more like I don't like to deal with people, but I was a soldier may have wanted to do dealings here. Sure, I mean, has a be for that. for an owner. Yeah, most people are smart enough to not, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, uh, he'll be. Marcus will be quiet for for the rest of the night, just thinking. But mm -hmm. he'll be uh, he'll he'll be up watching and thinking. Okay. Uh, so kicks you are in. Well, uh, let's go to Theta. Okay. To Gar. Um, where are you gonna start your search? Did I get any leads from my research, or does my research just say, hey, the best place to look is Greyhawk? Uh, in general, Greyhawk, uh, but you could get leads because on certain gambling houses, perhaps. Uh, so you would have to do an investigation role, persuasion role to go through these houses and see, because... So the implication the there is that anybody who pulled a wealth card would have instantly gone to gamble? <laughs> Pretty much so, yeah. Oh, man, that's like, oh, I'm rich. I'm going to buy everyone in here drinks. Oh, shit, now they all know I have money. They're going to kill me for my money. Yeah. Uh, uh. In fact, the last time you heard is like about a couple of years ago. Uh, somebody did just that, but you don't know the specific gambling house. Gambling then. And then um, got into a high stake game. Kept gambling. Lot was losing and decided to switch the cards that he was using. You know, dealer's prerogative. And when the next card that was dealt, something, something horrible killed everybody at the table. And the money and the individual were gone. I mean, he was dead, but, you know, the and the uh, the way they die uh, fits, or at least has been described, in, and you know people talking about it, uh, several ways that match the ways that the uh, the the deck can kill or injure people. And this is like the most recent rumor. Yeah, about a, about eighteen months ago. 
I do appreciate that there were overlaps at the same time that the cult I was investigating in here before was also a random operator. Uh, I don't suppose Greyhawk has some sort of like magical investigation system in place. No. I mean, you can hire wizards. So the the, uh, the magistrates can hire wizards and clerics to investigate if they need magic. Right, 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 right. But they don't have any like uh, system in place by which no, they have no. already pre-hired said wizards to then be on the books in case a magical deaths are related. No, this is not Ankh no more. No, this is not what. Yeah, no, never mind. It's the time about what this wolf anyway. But, I thought you said no Animorph, so I was like, wait, is that even what? What are you talking about? I, I don't know how to pronounce the city itself. <laughs> it's, it's, uh... Well, I've said just... it. Animorphs are now canon. Yes, yeah. as they should be. I just thought being the capital of basically the whole setting. I mean, yes, but this is the thing about the setting is that the magic sort of dips and bounces, like, oh, uh, some some areas and some subjects are very highly magical, and some others are very very mundane. So, you know, it's all over the place. Right. So you have literally like you have the, the if you go to the college wizards, it's a pyramid, smooth sides with a glowing, you know, crystal slash yeah, right around C. We yeah. pointed that out before how weird it looked. But at the same time, people are not you know people are not drinking from magical chalices that poured themselves in and stuff like that. So there's no oh yeah yeah no I mean I don't. I don't know what you think I was describing, but I was thinking of very yeah. I know people on mundane. the world, right? yeah. yeah. No, I mean they. I mean they know people, and you know it's like yeah, we're gonna use such and such. Oh yeah, no, like Sherlock, I was imagining like Sherlock, Sherlock literally. Mold, well, was, no, uh, not even that. Just like first level wizards have detect magic and identify. So it's like, oh, this guy died. The churgeon over here can't figure out what happened. I'll just bring in the wizard, see if he detects magic. Anything? No. All right, I can write that on the record. No. Magic. Just something weird like that. But I mean, if that's not how this place works, that's not how the place works. At best, you probably they get clerics. Those, those are pro the clerics are probably the ones that are on the, the on the uh, on the on the roll call because they're members of certain clergy, like the clergy of Hieronios, and it's particularly Saint Cuthbert that are part of the guard. In fact, the the magistrate who deals with the guards is a high cleric of it's the high cleric of Saint Cuthbert. That's uh, that social slope I was talking about before, where wizards just aren't given the. Yeah. All right. Well, um, so the only clue I have is to a tavern, from a gambling house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that. sorry, I just assumed it was happening in the back room of Saffron. and I don't know why. No, no. This, this, this. One of the things that Greyhawk is known about, it has a lot of very specific gambling uh, establishments. Like one of the biggest belongs to the Lord Mayor himself. So yeah, the old charisma dump stat gar. All right, uh, I guess I'm gonna be making my way off to the gambling house. Um, Thank God I'm not a divination wizard. There is. How many gambling houses within the city of Greyhawk? Depending how you measure them, from back rooms to full-on gambling houses, it could be dozens. There's a lot of money in Greyhawk. So I don't know what a the implication lot. there is, Justin. I think you'd have met Gar if you don't think he's single-minded mm -hmm. enough to spend the rest of his life here. Oh, oh, that, oh no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, do you get the right one? <laughs> well, it's rumor. I'm basically chasing down a year and a half old rumor. Man, never met anyone who's done that before. 20 years. <laughs> How long have you been on your plane, Bearcat? Bro, I barely existed for 20 years, all right? Shut up. Uh, Man, I'm only 22. I've been trying to resurrect <laughs> my wife before you even made your promise to your 14-year-old bride. Shut the fuck up, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm older than all of you. Yeah, well, well you'll yeah, die first. You're an elf. Probably uh, will die first eventually. Yeah. While so, Lyle is cool, I believe a Robert is frozen. I'm, I'm yeah. frozen. Robert is, in fact, frozen. Ugh. Yeah, that does happen. But yeah, no, I'll, yeah. I'll head off to whichever uh, gambling house seems like the best lead. 
to the rumor that was given. Well, let's look at the gambling houses. I do have the low life. Is that the name of the gambling house? No, no, I'm just looking at the uh, the City of Greyhawk uh, PDFs. Uh, that's just Less's moment. nickname for me. Be a, oh. That'd be a pretty good name. Ironically, we have this new thing on Roll20. It's a uh, slot machine. Let's see if you can figure it out. Oh, really? That's amazing. No, no, that was me joking. Oh. You joke. But I guarantee you could actually set up a slot machine. Oh, yeah. You just need to use tables. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> do it well, the, uh, the biggest, one, too. Do it with the the biggest one so far is Wheel of I appreciate uh, that everything in that sentence blanked out except for Wheel of. <laughs> yeah. The, I said the biggest one is called the Wheel of Gold. Right, but does that seem where the rumors are leading? Uh, again, you start have to do investigations. So, yeah. I mean, well, yeah. actually, I have a passive investigation of eighteen. Well, it was a big one of the big uh, gambling houses. So yeah, it's leading you in that direction. At the very least, my passive investigation might lead me through some of this. I'll Columbo my way through this thing. Doesn't Columbo kind of know everything ahead of time, though? Yeah. That's the. Is that not how you investigate things? Only talk to people once you know they're wrong. Good point. I just assume everyone's wrong, so I'm skipping a step. So let's look at the description of the uh, wheel goal. Uh, what to do, gambler facing a new Howard submission. Mission is one goal per, for non members, and a year's membership costs 10 gold pieces. The place is, in fact, owned by Nero Gaskell, who also happens to be the Lord Mayor of the city. Uh, what, what a racket. Indeed. So, you go in, and it's, it's as the name suggests, outside there is a sort of wagon wheel uh, coated in gold or gold paint, uh, and you come in and and uh, there are burly half orc are guards outside. It's like, uh, so yeah, here's the gold. Yeah. Very well. Uh, make sure that you know use any magic or other uh, trickery inside, or you will be ejected immediately. What can I possibly do? I'm naked. <laughs> oh God. And the two half orcs look at each other like, you see? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go right in, Sam. Yeah, I guess. Uh, and in know. the first floor, I mean, you get hit by the shouting and playing dice games. Card games are at the back, but here it's just dice games uh, and darts and other types of, uh, you know, and everybody's doing bets. Yeah, uh, you see young, you see young ladies and young men uh, carrying uh, flutes of wine, and and uh, you know uh, jars of uh, of ale, and just the, the the beer and the money seems to be, the clink of of coin is everywhere. Uh, there are series of cages to the left, like four of them, where they do the exchange of the chips, right? So. Um, he says, uh, a young lady comes in, it's like, sir, if you are to gamble, uh, you are to uh, exchange your money for chips at the cages, and then you can participate in the table. So. What's the uh, what's the lowest stakes table you have? Oh, we have the uh, copper and dime over there. For newcomers. Right, right. Okay. So I'll go put a, a gold piece down for the chips. And they give you, so basically they divide, they give you about five in silver and the rest of which, if you notice, it comes like like one and a uh, fifty percent off, like fifty percent. Like, oh, you know, instead of being one copper, is not. You need two. You actually need, yeah, two chips for one copper coin, and about one and a half chips for silver. So essentially, you're losing money 
if you're transferring them out unless you make money. So already you're kind of losing money on the exchange and the chips. So unless you win big, you're you, you already lost money. Right, right. But I'm going to stick to the uh, the low stakes tables. Yeah, I'm only here for fun after all. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to try and you know see what information I can get out of the croupier. Yeah, there's a young man uh, behind it, and you know, doing the card games, right? Uh, you're doing Dragon Ante. It's like you know, it's basically the cards have different symbols of. Uh, there are two sets of cards, red and black, uh, and it's a black dragon and a red dragon, and uh, and that's how you you said it. it's almost like a card building uh, scenario where you have to get the best cards, and whoever gets the highest number wins. So. That's what they and they so they randomly uh, display the cards. And in fact, you, people can switch cards between them as well, right? Uh, but they have to do it face down. Um, so people are guessing that they're giving good, either dumping their bad, bad cards or trying to get good cards. And then everybody flips. And of course, the the house also flips their their deck. And uh, but the house actually has green cards included in their deck, which you quickly figured out as a way to. Add and subtract value, and giving the house almost always an advantage. So yeah, this is my first character that doesn't have proficiency with a game set. Mm -hmm. Typically, I always have dragon chess or something like that. But Gar's got nothing. No games for Gar. Uh, you can make a role intelligence uh, to see how well you, how much, how much you earn, if any. Yeah, you do come out positive, right? You figured out the game pretty quickly. So quickly, in fact. The kicked that... out of the casino. No, no. Uh, the group here basically sort of in, uh, suggests to you that you should move to a more challenging game. Clearly, you have mastered this. And you see the other people playing. Most of them are humans. They're, they're, like, they're kind of grumbling. Right? So you put a goal. You basically get about a goal, like, Two and a half gold pieces back. Which in this table is significant because you're playing with coppers and silver pieces, basically. Well, the idea being oh, that I would stay at this one table for so long that I would be able to make small talk with either the people around me or the croupier so that I would get... Yeah, the, the, the problem here is that you're so smart and these people are so dumb that the very, the very presence of you having to share the same, the same air with these people is well, that's... Like, how can these people not know how to play the stupid game of simple arithmetic? I mean, that's Gar's experience with everybody. Literally everybody. Yeah. So, But I mean, could I not just, uh, instead of um, winning with my can, with you... the role that I have there, instead of winning, just maintain my balance? Sure. You're smart enough to do that. Um... <laughs> you need to change one too. Yeah, I just need to find the one bad guy, beat him in a card game, Make him storm off in anger, and then follow him. Yep. I mean, or you can play... Uh, uh, quick, I look around for the one guy who's missing an eye, or... That's a third nipple? <laughs> ...has the most beautiful woman on this side and has a bunch of bodyguards standing beside him. Oh, the, 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 the third nipple costs extra. Yeah. Oh. Right, that died. Anyway. Yeah. We have to um, get DLC for that. <laughs> yeah, it's not unlocked in the base game. I was thinking more so like Total Recall. I don't know if anybody. Uh -huh. seen oh that yeah, well, that's, yeah, yeah. Didn't somebody post something about Total Recall on Discord? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was from the very beginning of the session. Uh, Open your so mind, Quaid. You can do uh, a um, a charisma check and see if you can chat up these people. Can't wait to see this charisma check. Well, the problem is, is that's probably anything I want to say is going to be, you know, blocked up by the vomit that I'm induced from having to talk to these people. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Wow. In spite of your total detestation, I suppose that's not even a word. Um, you for a lack of uh, revulsion, of revulsion, and uh, contempt for these lowly creatures, uh, you do manage some conversation. So what, what is the gist of the conversation? 
You don't have to. You don't have to speak it out loud, but at least I want to get the gist of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's basically I'm going to indicate like clues towards the events that I knew happened, that the rumors happened, and you know, just gonna see what they know about it. Like, uh, uh, call and response. Like, I'll let's slip a little something about. Hey, I I once heard about a guy who did this, and then this happened to him. They were like, oh yeah, no, I heard about that. This, 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 this. Call and response. And someone was like, oh yeah, well, I heard about that. Uh, poor Martin Martin Fury just hit it big. Had, all of a sudden, he had tons of money. And he ran into the nearest casino. It wasn't actually this one, because... Between you and me, you shouldn't say this aloud, but... Uh, well, um, this is owned by the mayor, and 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 but this person is talking like they're clearly drunk as well, so they they think they're talking in a low voice, but they really say but and you know it's like you're like okay fine, you know the mayor used to run with the thieves guild, so you know this racket right here. Uh, is, is a racket, so you know, it's, 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 so if that happened here, that he, he he wouldn't have gone like three steps without having lost all his gold. I think that would have been great. So it wasn't here, though, but yeah, I heard about, you know, Martin Fury. Everybody's heard about the legend of Martin Fury. And you're like, I haven't heard about the legend of Martin Fury <laughs> until now. Yeah, you didn't have a name for it. Well, I mean, uh, even if I had you would just say that you hadn't, just in case the guy knows something else that I haven't heard before. You had to incorporate as much information as you can get into whatever stories you've heard. Yeah, but he was, it wasn't here. It must have been some. But he's think, uh, could have been, could have been the, uh, the Golden Phoenix, I think. Yeah, that, that's a good place. Uh, that's the rival house. Of uh, to hear, oh, but I heard that 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 uh, place is run by the Red A, and <laughs> they're even worse than the Thieves Guild. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, yeah. So maybe maybe they know something over there, but those are very sketchy characters. I'll tell you. And they might want to have you for soup, if you know what I mean. No offense, man. No, you know, kind of you not being like. And, he, and for the first time, he kind of looks you up and down, like, really looks you up and down, it's like, right, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I need another drink. Uh, what are you talking uh, about? I think you're drunk. Yeah, I am. Which means I need another drink. I'll be right back. And as he does like this, he goes, like, yeah, he just hits what the those, floor. Uh, Joe's apartment situation, so I'm not a cockroach. What are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, there's a and, reference. Yeah, horrible reference. And you know, with within seconds, basically, uh, people sort of they drag him out and throw him into the street because they don't want you know some drunk guy. In there. Um, and basically, one another one of the the guards like, sir, uh, are you all right, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, you want to keep an eye on that guy though. He was saying some weird things about the mayor. We'll deal with that, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, so basically he says, you know, he basically says that it wasn't here because of supposedly the presence of the thieves killed you, right? Uh, but he points you to another place that if it's there, the people that run that place also have a very dodgy reputation. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think before I would leave this place to check out that place, I would try to get secondary confirmation of that information. 